Hi there, this is a uh, quick little discussion about topo surface. So I have an imported DWG file that I'm going to create a surface for, create topo surface here. I'm going to create from import using select import instance. I'm going to click on the CAD file and then I'm going to carefully choose the layer that uh, has the correct information, click OK, and Revit will generate points. Now if I quickly finish my surface and have a closer look, I'll see that there are some contours that don't follow faithfully. And the reason for this is that the contour interval of the CAD file is 2 feet and currently Revit's settings, or at least the way they are in the stock template, are providing for uh, secondary contours at 1 foot increments, which, is mean, which means we're asking Revit to calculate what they should be without having necessarily enough data to really actually lay them out. It's, it's guessing what, what the contours would be in between the contours it knows about. If I were to just simply remove this and change my contour interval to 2 feet, which is matching the CAD source, click Apply, I'll find that cleans up everything very quickly. <clears throat> I don't have to worry about these extra lines and these extra contours that aren't playing well. Now, if I do actually want that to happen, if I want to see these extra contour lines, if I undo my steps here, get back to the point where they're wrong, if I select the surface and then edit it, what I find is that these points, these points have an elevation, obviously, that's 51 feet according to Revit, and this one at the next major is at 53. So this line is jumping across from here to here because Revit is unable to uh, sort of calculate what this line should be doing faithfully based on the, the two shapes of this contour and that contour. And what I really need in order, to Revit, in order for Revit to follow this more faithfully is to just add an extra point in here somewhere at an elevation that's slightly higher than this one in this case. So to do that I can use place a point and I can specify <coughs> one that's slightly higher. I've got 51.1 in here so if I click somewhere like there find that Revit suddenly says oh that's better and wraps around cleaner. If I come over here and have a look at this side this point is also at 51 and if I take the same approach and click place point park it in here Notice it cleaned that up better. Now if I move this around a little bit, so I'm just, just going to use the arrow key and nudge it to the left. <coughs> As I move it around, and maybe down a little bit, I can see how it's affecting the interpolated contour. If I add another point at the same elevation, say here, now it's starting to mess with my primary contour that was correct, so to speak, and I can nudge it around a little bit. <coughs> so these, these lines are being generated based on the points, but functionally the ones that are in between the contours that are actually defined by line work in the CAD file, uh, those are the ones that are fine if you just leave the contour intervals the same. As soon as you start adding extra contour line work that is being calculated on the fly, then these points start to become much more uh, uh, important and relevant. You've got to pay more attention to them. Uh, so again, the simplest way to resolve this problem, so to speak, is to simply look at the overall settings for the site and, and just remove this extra contour, for example. Click Apply, and now it's resolved. <coughs> if you said that you wanted to use a different kind of process here, we could say, well, let's use an interval of two feet, but we would like to have a secondary contours um, maybe the in major interval is 4 feet or 5 feet and we'd like to have a secondary interval <coughs> of 2 feet which changes to multiple values call this 2, call it secondary and we get the advantage of having different line weights possible for the majors and the minors so if I click OK it's possible through visibility graphics, for example, to override the settings for topography so that primaries and secondaries have different lines and so forth, different line weights. Uh, you can also do this through manage object styles, topography. So secondary contours, for example, could be a, a lighter blue just to make it more obvious. And then if I hide CAD file, because of the interval right now, I've got a very simple display of information. So again, I've got to go back to site. And it's just a matter of fussing with these values. Now, I have to tell Revit 
what this uh, start and stop elevation might be. So it's going to say it's going up to like 50 feet in terms of height. When I click OK, I'm telling Revit the range that these contours should be affected by this setting for primary and secondary. So my secondary values are showing up as blue. And again, if I use the label contours tool, <coughs> 46, 48, 50. So again, you could potentially add different contour elevations values to the site settings and get different display of information according to the criteria that you enter in there. Again, you're going to have to deal with the fact that Revit's going to uh, interpolate some values is if you're breaking away from contours that are actually part of the CAD source that you use to begin with. Well, I hope this helps.